Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Devil's Lair strike. I'm going to be making the reviews for new strikes and whatnot just so I can showcase them and because I actually do like them. So before we start with the video, I just want to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed according to my analytics. So if you could do me a favor and subscribe, hit that bell notification, I would very much appreciate it if you like my content, if you like just me in general. That would really help me out. So on with the video. Uh, obviously, Devil's Layers, a Destiny One, uh, Legacy Strike, and for me, I I love this strike. This is the strike that really uh, gave me the love for Destiny. Uh, this is where it all started for me. Like, <laughs> I played the beta for Destiny, and when I played this specific strike, I was like, this is fucking cool. Like, I still remember that moment when destiny hooked me and it was during this strike uh, i'm really happy that it's the same it's not like the omni ghoul strike it's literally copy copy paste pasta of the old destiny one strike um i do wonder how they're gonna tie this with the story because that is important to me but at the same time i do like that it's still kind of the same uh this this is where it gets pretty difficult when it comes to like how would you merge destiny one with d2 and i think i think that i think destiny 2 really figured that out with one of their activities which is like what was it com uh it which, it's an it's an event i'm not entirely sure which i'm thinking of maybe uh, moments of triumph but it's basically kind of like the way I would do it is just make it a memory like make it make it just a memory that would be great for the new lights it could be someone telling a story and then from there you relive that me like that to me that would just be the great the greatest thing but that's not that type of video which I should make that video that sounds like a really cool thing we could talk up we could talk about but I, I love this uh if you guys don't know this is the nightfall for this week and it was fun i had no intentions of doing a nightfall because i was like i'm just gonna do whatever until my one of my clan mates ended up telling me he's like we want to do it well if we can get the 1k and i was like fuck it i need the light anyway so once we did it it was it was a blast man it was a lot of fun it was so much fun obviously what i'm showing you guys right now is the the defend ghost one where basically he's like destroying the security system for the doors and it it literally just sparked the the like oh my god like i'm back and it was a lot of fun for me it was very nostalgic to replay this i know a lot of people don't like reskin stuff i particularly don't like reskin stuff a lot but when it comes to strikes and d1 weapons and d1 armor and d1 this i think for me i like it a lot just because i'm a d1 veteran and I, I I do get the point that we should get new stuff. We shouldn't get just the same old Destiny. We should get the new Destiny. But I feel like we should, to, to be completely honest, I would love for Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 just to merge together and become one big thing. Uh, just because, like, why would you not want that? But I... I doubt that we'll ever get that, unfortunately. So, yeah. I think what's really cool, though, is the fact that they actually introduced the uh, champions in... Obviously, since there's going to be Nightfalls of this, but I really like the way they introduced the... the, uh... the champions. I think they were really cool. They were a lot of fun. My, the one I'm pretty much thinking about is when you're fighting that big spider tank and you have to kill like all of that was hectic I loved it and for me I don't know what it is but just destiny one strikes are far more memorable than the d2 ones because just d2 strikes I don't know what it is but they just do not hit the same so that's pretty much it uh everything is literally like almost copy and pasted from destiny one aside from like the boss has different mechanics if i remember correctly uh currently the blast where i'm showing you guys right now the door is actually closed 
uh, for my D1 vets, we actually could used to go. We used to be able to go in there and hide. It was a pretty good spot, and they closed it, which kind of I was like, oh, that's that that's kind of that kind of sucks. But whatever, it's not that big a deal when when I really think about it. Uh, but yeah, I ended up getting Shadow Price from this. It was a lot of fun. I will definitely be reviewing Shadow Price, uh, and I have a pretty pretty good thing I, I think i think i have a lot of good things to say about that gun uh but yeah let me know what you guys think about the strike in the comments below i loved it uh once the uh once the fallen saber comes out we're definitely gonna do that one fallen saber yeah i think so once that one comes out we're definitely gonna review it because that's another one of my favorites and if i'm saying the name wrong doesn't matter it's one of my favorites i literally played that shit when <laughs> it was active so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I will see you guys later.